me growing up, I was always the loud kid, be annoying to all the older ones, or always want to hang out with the older cousins. Yeah, I came along my first year. I just started dancing and singing in the gym. Boys were like, that's not normal for a first year. Like, I was like, oh, sorry, like, this is who I am. Great work. Go again. Fozzie allowed me to be me. I remember my first year, and he pulled me aside, and he goes like, oh, Caleb, I just really want you just to go out there and do everything that God's blessed you to do. Go just have fun and just be yourself. It's heartwarming for me to, like, see young guys, especially our Polynesian brothers, feel comfortable to be themselves. When I first got in there, the environment was a lot different. You just kind of shut your mouth and got on with it, and that was just the era that it was. We can't treat the young boys that way these days. They respond differently. We can't parent the way our parents parented us. Times have changed. Keep a little of the old school tradition, but also get to know the young lads, bring them with us, and show them the way. One of the things I always said to new players is, you know, that they've been picked for a reason because they're good rugby players. They've been picked because they're the best in the country. Everyone brings their uniqueness to the All Blacks, but then there's an All Black way that binds everyone together that I think no matter who you are as New Zealanders, uh, you resonate with. How was your 2022 with the All Blacks? Oh, it was good. Caleb Clark at full flight. The big man, Caleb Clark. Woohoo! Nicely picked up by Caleb Clark. And Caleb Clark is it! No better feeling than putting on that black jersey again. Because when you're away and you're watching the boys play, all you really want to do is get back into it. And so, yeah, a lot of nerves, a lot of excitement, a lot of pride just putting that jersey back on and just doing that jersey proud. So when we get into the nitty gritty, eh? Hey? Nitty gritty. Put some peaks, man. Had some good ones, man. Right? A few tears. So we're just gonna get lost in the city. Not too lost, though. You know, I should be taking photos of where we're going, but I'm just taking it all in overwhelmed. Thank you. Arigato. Konnichiwa. Robo. Robo. <laughs> right, did you find your juice? Yeah, thank you so hey. much for bringing it over. Gomenasai. Yeah. <laughs> I learned small Japanese phrases through watching anime. <laughs> you know what's funny? We used to run down these halls. Really? Yeah, because we couldn't go outside to run. So many of the boys in this team asked them, like, should I do Olympics? Like, I really wanted to. And I had, like, a few of them say, like, yeah, yeah, go for it. And I had a few of them say, like, no, nah, don't. Because it was kind of like leaving a good situation with the All Blacks. being in here, right? <laughs> when I first walked in, did I just say? It'd be like, not PTSD, but like, when I walked through the door, when we first got here on Sunday or Saturday, I just remember the first time I walked in here last year and I was just like, boom. Like, when I first got told I wasn't gonna make the Olympic team, I was just like, all the boys that said, no, nah, like, like, don't go, just stay with us, stay with us. They all just rung in my head. That was like the biggest embarrassment moment for me was like texting my dad and then or telling my family and just as soon as they tried to call me, I just hung up. I was like, no, I don't want to talk to anyone. Those were not fun times at all.
I just remember, like, in lockdown, going to the beach, going up Merriway. Like, I'd just go out there and just pray, just because I didn't know what else to do. And, yeah, I just really found, you know, gratitude in the small things. All I could think about was just being grateful for Roger, because he was the one that took me under his wing, and he was always um, real excited to, you know, that, like, I'm back in the All Blacks as well. He was just as excited as I was. And so, um, yeah, he was the one that helped me a lot getting through those tough periods. I was just real happy to be back in the environment, uh, be back amongst the boys after what seemed like a disappointing 2021. This is rugby at its very best. This is the ultimate challenge. The All Blacks will be well up for it, despite everything that's happened in front of this crowd against the world champions. Well, out wide, Caleb Clark makes his long way to return to the All Blacks. Yeah, I feel like I didn't have the same sort of pressures as everyone else. Uh, my pressures were more around, like, Am I good enough to be back, or have I done the work to keep my hammy strong? And that was sort of the pressures I had in my head. Here's Caleb Clark. Gets away from his man. He's got Phillips set to beat. Is that the game where you took the fullback on the outside? <laughs> Brilliant tackle from Phillips. Yeah, that's where I tested my hamstring, and obviously it wasn't strong enough yet, but... <laughs> Here's the break through two tacklers. Great to see in full flight. Backs himself on the outside. Looks like he's got it done. In the moment, I was like, move, legs, come on. And it was like, what, the 75th minute in the game? Oh, well. At least Noni scored from it, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> Scores. I still had a lot of emotions holding on to what happened um, the previous year, and so playing that test really helped close that chapter in my life. We're humans first. We're not just a rugby player. I think it's something that we need to normalise, talking about our struggles and really opening up to others, because the only way I feel like I can play at my best is when I'm myself, and so a lot of that comes from a faith background and... Um, yeah, just having confidence in who I am. Vulnerable is the new strong. And the power in that for the team is that people don't have to face these obstacles alone. They share, they care, and together we chart a course which enables them to meet and front and deal with any adversity that comes their way. New Zealand's grip on the Bledisloe Cup now spans almost two full decades. If the Wallabies want it back, then it has to happen right here, right now, under the big dome at Melbourne's Marvel Stadium. And this is the tightest ever battle for the rugby championship. into the test. Another line out close to the line. This time they go to Retallick. The backs come in. They drive towards the line. Another advantage. Tokyo. He's over. It's a try. What a great start. This is not the start the home fans would have wanted at all. I thought we played some of our best rugby in that year. He 
went straight through the tackle of Foley. And a crucial try for the All Blacks as they extend their lead. We're going so well. <laughs> yeah, going real well. I got the sense on the bench, like some of the boys were like, yeah, we've got this in the bag, but man, I've played, I've played the Aussies enough to know that they just never roll over and die like they just don't go away. Foley looking for a little gap. Oh, gets a brilliant ball away to Callaway! The further the scoreboard gets away from a team, the more they're going to play more expansively, try to put you under pressure, take risks. And the Australians are back! And Aussie just started playing some great rugby. They take one, they take another. Game's on. This is turning into another extraordinary Bladerslow Cup test. That was our own fault. We had that game pretty much dusted, and then we let the button off big time. Charging into the tackle, getting onto it, oh, winning a penalty, this could be a game winner. And now Nick White has a chance to put them in front. I just remember being like, no, like not like this, please not like this. Not a fairy tale ending for them. This final all by straight, Australia. Driving it back, driving it hard. Well, you know, the drama of the last part was cool, wasn't it? That's why I love test matches. They're supposed to be like that. And I just remember like standing on the left side of the field, like, oh, we have to win this line out, we have to win this line out, we have to win this line out. We play. We play, and we play now. Come on. They had to be silly and muck around a bit too much. The Australians given a bit of a hurry up here. And all they'll have to do is win the line out and hang on to it for a minute, even less. Hearing the core numbers like, hey! He's taken too long! Oh, they were trying to run the clock down. This is a sensation! Time wasting bang. Yo, all good! Yo, let's go, let's go! The thing that often gets forgotten is, is that people will debate the penalty. Um, but those people don't talk about the three warnings or so that he gave them before that. And you wait, you wait, you wait. So that's a strong for the old rush. That um, decision only gave us a scrum. We still had to win the game. But it comes down to this. Australia now need to find right. one final effort. Can they hang on? The Dane Coles has a go! He's short. Oh, he's just short. There are so many other different ways we should have scored it, but we got it done. Yeah, it was such a relief and we were buzzing.
not the most ideal way of winning a game, but just being able to, to take it back in a hostile place. What are the games you want to play, eh? It's just footy. Yeah. Woohoo! We get Colsey! I remember talking to Colsey after that game and sort of being like, what do you reckon? Is that one of the most memorable Bledisloe moments? And he goes, oh, hell yeah! Like, he was like, I've never been a part of something like that before. <laughs> Phew, we got that one. And we got a little bit of rubber the green for once this year. Welcome back to Eden Park. This is the final weekend of the 2022 Rugby Championship. All four teams have a mathematical chance of winning this year's title. Up first, the All Blacks and Wallabies. I'd say it's the tightest rugby championship in history, for sure. It never come down to, like, the last games ever, you know, and... I knew we could win it. I just didn't know, to be honest, if the year we were having, it was going to fall our way. The All Blacks delivered in the 80th minute 10 days ago. Tonight, they go in search of a comprehensive second win. Our part was pretty simple. We just had to play well. Relentless from the All Blacks. And the All Blacks have four for the evening. The All Blacks machine is churning out try after try. And they score another one. And they are out by 30. It's been conclusive. Absolutely conclusive. So the All Blacks have set the Springboks a really tough task now to win the rugby championship. Potentially win the rugby championship after what we've been through this year. Like, we wanted to go to Eden Park and hold up that trophy and that bled together. But we had to wait for the South African game, of course, so we didn't get the opportunity to do that. You know, with some really good signs, showed a lot of attitude in the last game of the championship, and, you know, it's given ourselves a chance. I didn't stay up and watch the game. It was, what, it was like a 4 a.m. kickoff or something. But when I got up to go toilet, like I checked the score. The Springboks victorious at home. It's just not enough for the points difference. I lay in bed. It's like yes. Job done. Next morning, you're sitting there in the hotel, and there's a bit as though in the rugby championship. Well done, boys. But still, no one's happy. Because <laughs> that's life in the All Blacks. So, it is what it is. When you're given the jersey, you're not given it to keep. You're given it for a short amount of time. You're effectively the caretaker of the jersey. And when you hand that back, it's in a better position than what you got it. And to me, when you have that attitude, you uh, will do everything you need to do to ensure that, uh, that you're you're adding to that. In high performance sport, there's no room for PR. You've got to be who you are. This is just our beautiful room. Um. <laughs> if they don't have balance, they'll burn out. This jersey demands effort. We love the challenge. They've come here to build now for the World Cup in France. Will England just kick it out? They will. What just happened? It is a draw. We are doing everything we can to achieve a great result. We're going to see a penalty try here. What a struggle this has been. Japan have come back. International rugby is getting tough. The question is whether you want to come along for the role. The majestic black jersey, it just means everything to me. I want to finish strong. Yeah.